The new school year brings with it so much change. New supplies, new teachers, maybe even new bus routes. A few years ago, for First Sergeant Julianne Becker, it also brought new schools in a totally new state. When the Army told her she and her family were headed to Fort Jackson. Just like anybody else, we had to make sure that we had uh, proof of residency, where we were living, which is normally comes in the form of a bill. That's information many military families might not have until after they move, making the process of enrolling their children in schools that much trickier. When I read the bill, I was incredibly excited. Um, I was able to to see the, the potential for this bill and how it would make that transition for these family members and these children so much easier. A new state law called the Military Temporary Remote School Enrollment Act requires school districts accept a parent's military transfer orders electronically to sign their children up for any public school or program within a district. It's just one less thing they have to worry about as they're trying to navigate and figure out where they're going to live and also get their kids enrolled in those extracurriculum activities and things of that nature, magnet programs. Programs, clubs, teams and classes that Edward Bell of the South Carolina Department of Veterans Affairs says might have filled up in the time it took for military students to get enrolled. It's going to affect a ton of families. As many as 20,000 military students are in South Carolina at a given time, more of them attending Richland School District 2 than anywhere else. We have to keep them on track for graduation, and we know that different states and different countries have different course requirements and mandates. But so this bill uh, will allow us to okay, let's get them registered, let's get their classes scheduled so that these kids uh, can just move right on through uh, to graduation. First Sergeant Becker says for military families like her own, this change helps them not only support their kids, it also helps bolster the reason they came to South Carolina in the first place. This bill will absolutely aid soldiers and their family members coming in to be able to focus on the mission where on Fort Jackson we make American soldiers. First Sergeant Becker says this will be especially helpful to those families who are moving in the middle of the school year or moving here from overseas. Reporting from the Statehouse, I'm Mary Green.